Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our next presenter, the CEO from Nezaza, Manuel Hilti. Manuel, it's all yours. Good morning. In the next six minutes, I'd like to show you how Nezaza changes the way tailor-made packages are being booked. In today's travel industry, when a customer wants to do something like an individual safari package or a private tour of Myanmar, then this is what typically happens. The customer comes to a travel agent, describes what they would like to do. The agent sends this information on to a tour operator who then passes it on to an inbound tour operator or a DMC in the corresponding destination. The DMC puts together a proposal using Word or Excel, sends it to the tour operator who will do some modifications, send it on to the travel agent, then the travel agent will finally present the PDF proposal to the customer. Now, if they're all lucky, then this is exactly what the customer would like to do. But often there will be questions like, can I hit, stay here a day longer, or do you have a different hotel in that place? And then the whole game starts from scratch. This means a lot of work and hassle for everyone involved, and a lot of waiting time for the customers. To solve this, uh, sorry, it's not very different um, actually when these packages were being sold online because you have one link less in the chain, but it's still a very manual process and still very transparent to the customers. So to solve this, Nisaza has come up with a platform that gives everyone access to the same interactive and bookable itinerary. The customers can use this to plan their own trips on the retailer's websites, but the retailers can also help them during the process or even prepare an itinerary as an offer that the customers can then further adjust down the road. This results in a process that's fast, that's interactive and transparent to the customers, and doesn't have any media breaks from the inspiration, over the planning and booking, to the actual fulfillment of the trip. In the inspiration phase, we work with customizable trip suggestions that have been put together by destination experts. They are a solid and a beautiful basis for the steps to come. Using Nesaza's powerful itinerary planner, customers and agents can then personalize the itineraries in various ways. For example, something didn't work here now, sorry. It's not playing. They can customize the itineraries in various ways. For example, you can adjust the duration of stay in a particular place, or you can adjust the day program by adding or removing activities and excursions of various sorts. You can also change hotels, you can adjust transfer options, and during all of this, you get a lot of support from the tool. It will help you to put together a trip that actually makes sense. These itineraries can then be booked using one of two processes. We have an on-request process for those suppliers who don't have real-time availability data for all products, but there is also a process with live availability where product permits. And after the booking, our platform actually provides a lot of time-saving automation. For example, you can generate beautiful travel documents with just one click, and you can push the whole information onto a mobile app that the customers can take with them during the travel and that will extend with upselling capabilities in the future. All of this is made possible by Nizaza's powerful itinerary configuration technology. It makes even the most complex packages manageable. As input, it takes an itinerary template. This can be an individual round trip, a fly drive, or an individualized group tour and a database of travel components. Here we support all the standard types of components, but also all sorts of cruises and all of those complex multi-day tours that today's wholesale platforms cannot capture adequately. Together with the user's input, this results in an itinerary tailored to the traveler's needs. Suppliers using the Nisasa platform can distribute their packages through various ways through travel agents. Here we're already partnering with Amadeus as a first step in our mission to give our customers access to a vast network of travel agencies worldwide. On their own website, using our white label tool, and also as a supplier to other companies who use our tool to sell packages both online and offline. And our revenue comes from a volume-based subscription fee from the white labelers, 
or as a commission from the suppliers in case of direct agent bookings. In our team, we combine a lot of experience in building and selling enterprise-grade software with a strong background in tourism and online travel. And using our tool, our initial customers report more than 90% time savings in the creation of individual offers and a 2.5x increase in conversion on those offers due to the fast response times and the attractive and interactive presentation thereof. We're also putting up a lot of content on the platform. We're currently at 30 countries and growing. And in the next couple of years, we want to extend the content coverage to all relevant destinations in the world and also internationalize the distribution side of our platform. Here we plan to integrate with all the major distribution channels, both the GDSs, but also the biggest online traffic sources. Our vision is to make Nesaza not only the most advanced, but also the biggest global distribution platform for individual travel packages. Thank you very much. Right on time. The biggest distribution package in the world. Global aspirations, big plans, dragons, three and a half minutes. What do you think? So there's a huge amount of technology there. Is it built? Is it in production? It's built. Yeah. It's so you have customers live customers. now? Yes. Okay, so your subscription model, at what point do you break even? Um, what point in terms of? How many years are you breaking even now? Are you? No, um, probably 2018. Okay, so you have competitors, well-funded tech competitors that see what you have in production now. Are you funded enough to go fast enough to capture the market? We're just now in a funding round, um, which should give us that funding. We're currently actually more pitching against the status quo than against competitors who, who offer the same um, complete service as we do right now. Okay. Any B2C component, any direct cu customers, or is it all white label? We don't do B2C anymore. We did it in the very first phase to, to mature the platform, but we don't do it anymore ourselves. Continuing, sorry, continuing on with that question, so you mentioned you're not B2C, but are you, you're, you're a software layer for the most part. Are you actually going out and signing up tour operators on the other end as well, or are you purely going to be a software layer in between? No, we also sign up the tour operators, so we basically we're also building up a marketplace component to the whole platform by bringing all those inbound tour operators onto the platform that then the sellers of the packages can easily access the content of and resell it. And can you talk about your, your revenue model for, for those two types of businesses? Um, basically, we always get the most revenue from the one who actually sells the package. And then um, there we have a, a volume-based model, so it's a certain percentage of, of the sales volume. Right. And then we get a small booking fee from the supplier of the package as well. So just to clarify, um, if Expedia wanted to use this platform, I assume that's who your customer would be? Who, who, is, who is white labeling this product? Then it would be Expedia. Okay, so you're saying that Expedia is going to pay you to sell the product? They're going to pay us for using the platform. They will do their own selling. But and then they will have to go and, and build their own relationship with the supplier? They can, but they can also take the suppliers that are already on the platform and just repackage those offers and, and sell them right away. So are you going to have offers from the supplier, some sort of commission base that you already will have pre-negotiated, or is Expedia going to have to do that themselves? It's, it's all based on an enterprise model. So the suppliers are putting their, um, their products onto the platform with a resale price and the, the seller of the package can just define their margin on the sale that will be put on top. Um, of course, they could negotiate with the suppliers to get a general reduction on those, on those net prices. That's also possible. And do you have any potential customers currently that are interested in using this platform? Anybody signed up? Yeah, we, we, have, um, we have currently 14 active customers on the platform. We have several in the onboarding, and we have a very big sales pipeline, um, especially in the German and, Euro and European tour operating market. We What's have the size of your sales level. team? Sorry? What's the size of your sales team? Three. Three. Quick question, 10 seconds. I see these solutions all the time. What makes you different from all the other solutions? We cover the whole process, including bookability. We have the planning, we have the booking, we have everything in one process. That's it, it does it all. Swiss Army knife, nicely done. Manuel, well done, my friend.